Hey, right, what's up, guys? Gonna do a little uh, B class here at Texas. Done about 10 laps total on Texas. Just bought the track, so uh, fix set. It's a little tight on entry, middle, but overall it does feel looser than the fix sets did last season. So this is the first official race, Rotor Oval this season. And take it easy, see how it goes, try and stay out of trouble. testing because the site was so slow I just wanted to get in the race
talk about. Nice wheelie 19. You guys probably can't see it because <laughs> <laughs> Just shot it in the grass. I was like, oh no. Oh man, yeah, I saw that wheelie 219. That was crazy. That's pretty cool, man. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, I knew I knew you were gonna be passing me in the grass, and then on my triples, I looked on the left side of my vision. I just see you just popping a wheelie past me. It's hilarious. Yeah, this setup is just, I don't get why it's plowing so much on entry. So yeah, you guys can not see it, but on my uh, left triple, his front tires were, I don't know, 12 feet above the ground. His rear tires are probably about three feet off the ground. Hit a bump and just took off. It's really loose center off. Oh yeah. It, it it slides all off a of, it slides off a of four for me. Two not so much. It's pretty it plows a lot in, in uh two. It's hard to really die down to the turn. It needs to be a little bit looser on entry and a little bit more snug center off, I think. Can we about to keep a good line coming in here? Ah, oh, let's just do it. We're doing good, man. Come on. I missed my pit stall. God damn it. <laughs> Me too. Big time. Poor guys. Yeah, I don't need a damn it. He's walking on water. Please me, mama. <laughs> Oh dear. This is gonna stop. Yeah, so I don't I don't know if I'm really gonna be able to get two positions here on pace and just have to be standing out of trouble. I don't know what the hell happened. If I do that, I think I can get top ten. Let's see what happens. I was thinking that thing was Tony. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Tony's gonna get top ten. Yeah, I'm gonna get top ten. Yeah, I'm gonna get top ten. I just like to uncheck my fuel caution, so I don't fill it up on accident later. Oh, that's another thing. You guys can't see my... keep forgetting you can't see my F3 screens when I scroll through them with the stream over there. Yeah, how are you supposed to nail the corner entry here? It's really tough for me. And again, I don't have much speedway experience. One minute twenty point one one three. Yeah, they will not be used to, especially if you're just starting to race these. I'll take your word. Well, I started off first few laps keeping up with the leaders, and I just got too loose, and I just fell back. I don't remember the setup last season being this loose. My guess is because everybody was throwing a fit about tightness last season as he made things looser. It's not even loose, it's like a tight loose thing. No, yeah, I agree. It doesn't feel like it's on the track and it pushes beginning and center and the oh, rear tires just feel like Skate, skateboard wheels. Sounds like everybody here doesn't know how to drive. In better words, it's just on balance. Green. Not the prettiest start, but we're still alive.
<laughs> I would have probably backed out of it anyway. I would have just lifted real early and made sure I could hug the bottom. The road's open, I think. So what's the secret to getting the car to road? Hey, your power station there, uh, JP. You might want to get four fresh tires right here. Whatever, kid. That's a bunch of BS. Uh, loose. So usually when you get loose, the rear end comes around so you start coming down the track and it's in the front end. Yeah, I don't think I would have been able to hang on much in the uh... It's like the 11 cars got some pretty significant damage there on the right front. All the way up to his rear tire. Now, do you guys tap the brake and turn the corner? No. You just don't. You need to uh, back it in, get in the corner just a little bit. Just let the thing sit down in the center and then gas it. Okay. Because I, 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 I just, I'm a, like more of an aggressive type driver on entrance. And I normally just tap the brake a bit, but I, I could try and let off. Maybe that'll help me a little bit. Yeah, I would. This literally is not as bad as I keep hearing everybody cry about. It's, it is a little weird loose coming off, but if you just back it up just a little bit, get it in the corner, and then let it sit down on the bottom, you'll be fine. Are you guys getting on the brake going into one, or is that a no? No. I just think people are used to the security from last season sets. So basically what I'm gathering here is if you glide it into the corner and then gas it when it fights like I did in uh, testing, that'll uh, that'll get it a uh, good, good exit. Sure. The main thing is it's not going to gas at all until it's time or you're going straight to the wall. And not to get comfortable because in the long run, isn't it, it's supposed to plow a lot more, isn't it? Uh, we don't know. We haven't had one yet. <laughs> yeah, this are <laughs> few and far between in this game, but uh, it is is going to get tired the longer you go, so just take it easy. Oh, I got him. He's a good driver. Yeah, I got fresh tires. Stay out of trouble, stop, quiet. So I think I'll be okay. No, he's not going to do anything stupid. We didn't even make it a while. <laughs> I'm not being a dick. Yeah, he didn't get tired the first time we quit it, though. He was running on the same lap tire. No, I missed my pit stall on the first, uh, the first round of pit stops, for whatever reason. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. I was wondering. I think you missed because you didn't see it. Exactly. I was like, wait, what? Where's my pit stall? I'm like, oh, I missed it. Why in the war if you still you can practice on that pit road so you know where your stall is, too. I missed mine. Well, I had to back up, but I couldn't see it because two other cars were right there now, behind it. Lost six yeah. bucks on that. I think it was the first time starting on the outside. So. Yeah, that happened to me once as well. See how well, this kind goes. Of. Basically, what happened? Uh, keep it wide open. Uh, I have a feeling it's going to get pretty congested coming off one and two with this group. Yeah, what right happened here. was people were on the. Uh, we're pretty much riding right along the side of the uh, pit stall, so I couldn't see anything. That's what happened that one time, not this time, though. I need to tighten up my gas pedal, it's a little loose. Yeah, so, we get the green flag, it'll be, uh, be on the 20th lap. 
Uh, 25 after that. This 11 car ran inside speed up, so Oh my goodness. It ain't over yet. Oh god damn it. Easy, easy, easy with the Lord's name and bang there, fella. <laughs> You know the yellow car that spun out in the middle of the back stretch? I missed you by like a half an inch on the high side there. Jesus. I think I'm gonna need to come into the pit to get a change of underwear. Holy <laughs> crap. That's basically how I feel. What about the all-religious you know? references, man? That's like four in a row there. Come on, nine car, you're in front of me. What's going on? Fourteen, come by me. Yeah, I got really loose on that like race. Right. It was definitely my fault for spinning out. I'm not sure why I got hit the ten seconds after. So yeah, I was still trying to figure out if I could keep it floored on the high side there. And it was kind of getting squirmy on me. And I could see him getting loose, so I had to get off it. But I was like in a slight little drift, and like that was pretty much pure luck I didn't hit him because I wasn't really in control of the course I was going I was just more along and trying to keep it straight yeah Logan you're about the third guy that I came about an inch away from like I don't know that was insane Barely missed the guy that initially spun. I missed him by like an inch and I had a nice little slight drift going on. Then that yellow 18 car came up across the track, had a cut down, then go figure you're on my inside. So I'm just lucky I didn't pull down anymore. I only had 9.3 seconds. That's nothing. I can't wait for Phoenix. Love that track. Well, right now we're in ninth place, so... Oh, lucky. <sighs> Just keep staying out of trouble. We might have a good finish. I might go. Just depends on the timing. Top five would work possible. Shit. Just start I just in the middle here. Because Just I'm all the way up in New York. <laughs> uh, from Long Island. You can go, it just costs a lot. Yeah, that's the thing, I don't feel like spending that much money to go down there. <laughs> yeah, I live in Northern California, so it's like a 15 or 16 hour drive or something like that. Yo, that's... So I think it is quite possible a bit away. to keep it wide open on the top, you just gotta have the right I've line. done it before, it's not that bad. Might be a little drifting in there. Yeah, the cool thing is I'm about uh, four hours, Power three hours out. from Watkins, from Watkins Glen, so I've I've gone every year since 2013. Yeah, but you can't see much of Watkins Glen, can you? You can see the track Where right in front of you. That's it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I like. Yeah, uh, that was about an hour from something. Sonoma. I always go to every single year and sit on that dirt hill in the essence and you can see pretty much the entire track except turn 11. Yeah, that's too bad because at Watkins Glen, you know, uh, and yeah, I know 2013 was last year, but yeah, um, yeah, you don't get to see a whole lot of a track, unfortunately. There aren't too many good uh, vantage points. Although I think the best, the best spot on the track, I'd have to say, is the uh, is the front straightaway. That's where most of the most of the exciting stuff seemed to happen, at least at least this year. You gotta start on the inside yeah, this time. Yeah, can't you walk around like, go look at turn one and then go to the back stretch and look? One to go. I must to be starting on the inside. I mean, you one. could, but I don't one. think I'd want to do all that walking. One. 
I've heard people get bicycles and ride back and forth. Yeah, I thought I'd get around in Sonoma. Just take bikes and just ride around all over the place. Hmm, might have to try that next time. I tell you what you ought to try is getting a case of beer sitting at home and watching it on the box. Woo! <laughs> Yeah, you don't get to see all the titties up close, man. Oh, they got other channels for that. Oh, my. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh that was good. Pay for those channels is just about the same price as paying for a ticket to the race. On, yeah, that's why I don't go to Calday or Daytona. I stay on TV. You get my focus hat. I was do the duck on this. Green, 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 green. Another one. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's kind of crazy start. Yeah, you want to be on that side on a restart. That's for sure. Get past it, get past it, check it up. Oof. Highway to the danger zone. Daniel, a couple more cautions, boy, we ought to be leaving. Yeah, I know it. <laughs> At this rate, I think I might rip, I might end up in the top five. Yay. Now people are going to start complaining that the setup's too loose. Guarantee it. This setup is great. I don't know why I was complaining. Honestly, I like every setup I've driven the last five weeks. I like this setup. I just got to get a little bit better with it. Just get used to it. That's all it is. It will just try to go out there right away and be fastest with it and then end up spinning out all the time. You see, the thing is, the only problem I have with this setup, and I don't mind driving the setup the way it is, but my preference is I think it needs to be a little bit on it, a little bit looser on entry and a little bit more snug off. I think all these issues would be done. Caught a uh, throttle pedal. I mean, just let off it. Yeah, if you figure out how to use that throttle pedal, man, pretty good. Like I said, I don't mind driving a setup the way it is. <laughs> well, get the lucky dog. Just suits his driving style, I think Last he's trying to say. There you go. But yeah, I like, I tend to like it a little bit more in the car, when the car rotates a bit more on entry. I mean, this setup's, setup's all right and everything, but it just, I guess it just takes time to get used to since it's out of my comfort zone. Badger, you should get a lot of free stuff with them. I think it's great for the half laps we've been running. Well, at least the driver chat has been entertaining. Oh, Alan's up. Uh, we haven't even got a long run to even see what this thing does. I don't. We got like nine, eight, nine laps in. That's a long <laughs> run for it. for this race. <laughs> Racing. All I can say, Alan, you've been on fire tonight, bud. I just wonder what the bottom splits are like. Probably already done. Shit. <laughs> No, I, I, he, I, I, I agree with him. <laughs> well, say it ain't so. 
Well, they're go, they go slower. They're racing at a slower pace, so there's no need for them to slide out like we are. Yeah, good point. The big question is, can we finish for 10? Uh, I feel like I could, get, I could get up into the top five if I could just get the entrance the way I need it. Same here. I think I'm going to have to try lifting her earlier and see what that does. Just do it. They've been saying it. No break and let off early. Slow in, fast off, man. Slow in, fast off. That's the name of the game. Personally, I like driving the uh, Gen 6 car better than these, but... I haven't driven the Gen Start 6 Starting on the inside of the game. That's these nice. These and the trucks are very momentum based. You you mess up in one little spot, you get passed by four cars in these. That's how it was with the Nationals at Charlotte. That was how. You had to run a perfect race all 40 laps. But that's what makes it fun. Hey, 17, I just want to let you know you're blinking out seconds at a time. 10 more. Coming up ahead of the green. Of course, that's a car right by me. I just, I just don't want to enter the corner and be inside your car and get us a stupid 4X for no reason. I guess that's better than the car being right in front of me. I don't see any blinking from him on my end. I see him flashing every now and then. Yeah, I'll give him room. Ty should be alright on the restart. This will be extra full wheel swim. Do have a couple laps on him. Hi, Bob, man. Time to go to work.
shoot, man, it's got a top five down there. Ten laps to go. Oh, don't start flickering now. Uh, I wasn't sure if he was going to keep flicking it off. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, still got a great spot, so I'm going to do my Ah, I just clipped the front wheel not turn. Oh, that's frustrating. Whoa! 200 me here. Jeez, I have so much time on that tree. It's really nice. Seventeen cars, I guess. That's one good exit over there. Get a better perspective. Yeah, it's still got a nice top ten on there. Didn't expect that at the start. Got some good racing in the second half. Nine, Five laps to go right now. The Swiss 17 has a bunch of Next time, Chris. That's a 
survived. Uh, maybe one day I'll be competent with these cars. Yeah. Check out that, uh... But I finished on the lead lap. One wreck I missed there. Alright man, good job, good job. See, the, one car, really the one car on the simulator that I have a tough time learning. I need to pick up the gas pedal because that's what was messing me up. It looks so loose that it wasn't even registering what it needed. I was certainly expecting it to go far worse than this. Catch you guys later. All right, so hey, Logan, <laughs> thanks to the interweb, I actually did good damage. That was actually lag that actually came between me and you, and that's how that happened. We both ran a fine line. We were just close. It was lag. At least that's what it's showing on my screen. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the race. Uh, until next time.